my god, dude. Come on, Austin, I'm trying to post. I pressed share right when you texted me. There we go. And it is officially live. Boom! So I'm like really mad right now. Studio manager for YouTube on the iPhone app. If somebody schedules a video at a certain time and they want to go back and they want to list it as public, you need to make an option to change your schedule time. I was just given the green light to post the Centenario video and I'm trying to get the video live as well as the photos because the photos are gonna create attention and I have to have the link with the photos or else it's not gonna get as much momentum and I don't have both aligned. There's only photos, there's no videos. So I have to go like, I'm just trying to find a Starbucks or something around here that I can just pull up, pull my laptop out, log into YouTube and post the video because I was gonna do it from my phone but it won't work every single time it says error loading video, error posting video. Studio, please figure that out. I'd really appreciate that. Oh, f I passed it, dude. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I think I can probably get signal in this parking lot right here. I've had the pictures live for five minutes now, so it's not too bad, but I just need to hurry up and match this. plugged in my laptop, I changed the video schedule, I posted pictures on Instagram, I sent out the exclusive photos to all the accounts that I do work with. We're good now. In a half mile, keep left at the fork to stay on I-405 North. I'm having an issue right now where I have to shoot cars for a dealership, I have two meetings in LA, I have to go do a ton of revisions on some videos that I've been making, and it's 12.27 and I have to drive to LA. Which I'm gonna hit. Keep so, left at the fork to stay on I-405 North. I'm gonna hit so much traffic, but these two meetings are very important to me in LA. One's in Westlake. Continue on I-405 North for 40 miles. And then I have one more like Santa Monica area. And if you're not familiar with California, it's like an hour and 30 minutes to get to Westlake, another 40, a half an hour to get back to Santa Monica, and then another hour to get home, but with traffic, probably two hours. So. I don't, I, whatever, you know, I'm not gonna complain. If you wanna hear me talk, skip through this part of the video. I really don't know what I was gonna talk about. The struggles of YouTube, I don't know, I'm not like, I'm not in the mood to film today, but I'm trying to do a video a day, and I'm just like, it's okay, life could be worse. Let's make a video. You can really see it in the sun. Right? Holy crap, dude. Really serious setup, man. <laughs> Gosh. If you can walk us through like the bike, what do you do exactly? What was the whole setup behind it? I got it uh, from a friend of mine. He's the original builder. Yeah. He spent about 35 grand in building it. Oh my god. And she told me only the two wheels cost like 10 grand. Yeah. Because it was custom made from scratch. The engine is a stroke out to 1300, which is uh, cl uh, same as the Busa engine. Mm -hmm. um, it's a TL1000R, you know, Suzuki. Sure. Before the Busas came out. Mm -hmm. And they did all kinds of stretching, even the main frame, if you can see, like, right here, right mm -hmm. here. Everything is custom on the bike, one of a kind. There's tons of parts that they're like one off, mm -hmm. including the carbon fiber. Yeah, so all the panels you had custom made by one of your good friends. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my friend uh, Cannon at uh, Dinman, mm -hmm. he did all the carbon fiber. Sure. And it looks awesome. And you don't see this honeycomb weave often. 
That's pretty no, rare to see that. They're, they're new. Okay. The honeycomb weave, I think it came out about maybe a year ago or yeah. so, but I haven't seen any around. I haven't seen it anywhere. On cars, yeah. No. So I told them let's do something that no one has. Mm -hmm. It's a cool way to stand out without like being too risky. Uh -huh. And it just, it, once you get up close, you really see how detailed it is. Because at first when I saw it, in the, in the shade, you couldn't really tell, but yeah. then in the sun, it just, it, it pops a lot. Mm -hmm. And the, the thing is like, when you look at, at the side, uh -huh. it looks all black. Yeah. And then when you come close to it, especially like under the sun, yeah. you see all the texture and stuff. It looks like a snake skin. Yeah. And then I did the tank in the color flow, which is the sunrise color flow, uh -huh. to match this because from the front, when you look at it, this is purple. Mm -hmm. And also from the front angle, this is purple as well. So it's like the color so shift. Yeah, yeah. It's the color shift. That's really and then cool. this one we did, um, Canon's uh, BMW's color oh, okay. to match with this car because we wrap cool. the color this color. And then this extension arm on the back. How much further back is this from a stock bike? <laughs> I believe it's 20 inch. That's pretty intense because the stock bike is the wheel is about like around. It would here. sit right there yeah. and it's stretched all the way back. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. And the tire is a 300 series. Yeah, it's a pretty big rear tire. This, this thing is uh, sick, especially when you turn it on. Oh like, yeah. It gets everybody's attention. <laughs> Can you start and, it up? Oh yeah. And then you see uh, shoots flames up to here. Oh my gosh. Because like, especially on this side, uh -huh. if you see the brake lines even, the chrome. Oh yeah. From the heat, it's kind of faded. Because <laughs> you have a dual exhaust exit yeah. on both sides. Mm -hmm. That is so rad. It has a see-through, um, clutch window on this side as well. Oh yeah, I saw that. Which, that was a first pussy on this bike too, you know. It's loud. Holy shit. So as you guys can see behind me, this is a shop called Eurotech Tuning out in Westlake Village. And they specialize mostly in like German automotive upgrades, repairs, performance, that kind of thing. Um, we've been doing some stuff together for about two months now and it's a really cool shop. They have a ton of crazy builds. As you can see that insane motorcycle, they do everything from oil changes to vinyl wraps to exhaust um, and obviously tuning. So if you can check out the description box below for their Instagram. They have a lot of cool stuff here. So I've been having a lot of focus on my marketing company and one of the things that comes along with doing this business is that you have to travel a lot. So I've been driving to LA, to San Diego, all over the place, went to Phoenix, went to Vegas. Some clients do work out, some don't. Some say yes, some say no, and it's all about kind of learning how to roll with it. And now I'm at the point where it's almost growing to the, the level where I need help. Um, so thankfully I'm actually working on bringing somebody on board for Spencer Burke Marketing to help me manage accounts, do photography, do videos, do content creation, and I think that this may turn into an agency, basically content creators and stuff like that, but I have some cool news coming soon in my next video about what's happening in August and also some other things, but in the meantime, I just, I can't get over this motorcycle.
I actually lost them in traffic, but I got some sick rollers, man. That was awesome. Nice wheels, but man, that wrap, what? Yeah, that was awesome. I got the flames in that last one. Oh, you did? That was so cool, dude. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Awesome, bro. I appreciate that. Who are you, sir? Good, how are you? Spencer. Eric. Nice to meet you, nice sir. To meet you, sir. Just made it out here to Los Angeles. Um, before I was actually over in an area called Westlake Village and this is more centralized Los Angeles. So I'm over here at a shop called Window Tints and they have some really cool cars so you can see they obviously take their social media very seriously with having their Instagram right here. I was just talking to the owner of the shop and basically they do any kind of tinting here. This is their main area where they only do vehicles but they also do commercial and real estate and boats and pretty much the whole range of everything but came by here for my market marketing meeting for my company Spencer Brick Marketing. Once again, like I said before, very, very, very thankful that this is taking off to the level that I didn't expect it to. I'm like stupidly busy. If you guys want to email me, I know I'm gonna get bombarded, but if you're serious about it, if you guys want to help me, if you're a photographer, if you know social media, comment below and email me your information, your portfolio. I may be hiring some people soon all around the USA because I'm going nationwide. <laughs> and it's very fun. So if you guys can, check out this company on Instagram. Window Tints with a Z on Instagram. If you can, check them out. So you can see here they print a lot of cool stuff. They actually printed this on the wall here, but they have all of the big name brands, the big companies for tinting, and this is a little like lounge area. Very nice and modern, I like this a lot. Then you have all of your options for tinting, different materials, different shades, and my M3 actually needs to be retinted soon, so I think the M3 will be here probably pretty soon. Well, if you guys want to find out any more information about my marketing company and how I do social media and how I help companies and businesses grow and my consulting and everything that I do, um, I do a lot of stuff around social media, around automotive stuff, as you already know. Just want to say thanks for watching. I do appreciate all the support. That Centenaro video just like is blowing up slowly, thankfully. And uh, I need to go home and eat some food and chill. And I have a lot of work to do tonight. So. I'm gonna go home and chill. If you're watching, please subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. See you guys tomorrow. Peace!